This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 17th of April, the morning edition. I'm James Spann. Wet is the word today. And unfortunately, probably that will be the word over the weekend as well. Uh, let's take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning at the somewhat odd hour of 5 a.m. That's a look at the uh, Birmingham skyline as seen from high atop the Daniel Building downtown. We've got low clouds over the city. Head up to northwest Alabama. That's a look at downtown Fayette. Looks like they've seen a little bit of light rain there recently. And go down south, there's a look at downtown Clanton in Chilton County, where it looks like a little light fog is settling in. Yep, got a deep upper trough. I say deep. It's a, it's a significant trough west of the state, more of a short wave, not a full uh, length of long latitude wave. But that will be slowly coming in here today, producing rain at times and maybe some thunder. There is the radar at 5.06 this morning, uh, raining up in northwest Alabama. Some of the better rains falling uh, north of Sullivan up toward Hamilton and Bear Creek. And we'll see rain off and on today. The better chance of any thunder will be later. Temperatures this morning are mostly in the 60s. The cool spot, Haleyville, they've got 59. And uh, with the clouds in place today, a lot of folks might not get out of the 60s today. Although most models have uh, low 70s for the high. Watch warning map around the nation. Not much happening. Up north, some freeze and frost issues. There's the convective outlook today. We've got the standard slight risk a little east of here. A slight risk of severe weather for parts of Georgia and South Carolina. That will include Atlanta and Columbia. But even there, I'd say the main threat would be from uh, gusty winds and some hail. And around here with this uh, cloudy, cool type day, there just doesn't seem to be sufficient instability for any severe weather threat. So we're not going to worry about that here. Hey, rain numbers are coming up. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. So this takes into account the rain today and the rain we expect on Saturday. And this is showing almost two inches across this part of Alabama. So hopefully that'll bring on the Mayflowers. Check the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. There's the energy to the west, and the weather just looks wet with uh, periods of rain and maybe some thunder today. Additional rainfall amounts today, probably one-half to one inch. Tomorrow, the rain moves out. Now, I'll say this. The models are slowing this thing down. And, uh, in fact, I don't have it to show you here, but the NAM has actually kept the clouds in much of the day, so we'll probably need to amend the forecast to be a little more pessimistic with morning clouds giving way to afternoon sunshine. And we'll kind of lay it like that for now and see how the uh, trends go. Thursday should be a gorgeous day. That'll be your nice day right there. Uh, the sunny, upper 70s, just gorgeous. Start the day in the uh, low and mid-50s. Now, Friday, moisture begins to return, but there's really no forcing for rain. So for now, we'll just say partly sunny and warm and not mention any showers. I guess there might be a blip or two on radar during the day Friday. But at this point, I would say most of the day will be dry, despite the green that you see there. And then Saturday, as we start the weekend, uh, look at that trough really digging deep down into the western Gulf of Mexico. And by golly, the surface low uh, spinning up underneath that thing is on the Louisiana coast. I mean, do we need to give this thing a name? You know, I mean, it almost looks like a tropical system coming in. And uh, certainly that is going to be in a very favorable position to wet down the deep south this weekend. So uh, if this is correct, one way or the other, we think Saturday will be wet. But here's the deal. Look at Sunday now. The uh, surface low is 1,000 millibars near Dothan. I'll have to look up the names for the hurricanes this season. We'll, we'll just give it an A name. How about Andy? Um, but the heavier rain on Sunday would be east of the state, but clearly Sunday would be a cloudy day with a chance of showers in the wraparound moisture around that thing. Uh, so for the weekend planning, uh, think wet. Uh, you'll need some rain gear. Outdoor stuff might be troubled. Uh, but the one thing about it now with the surface low down there, the, the numbers have come way up. You know, earlier, the, the runs we showed you yesterday would suggest we'd be in the 60s over the weekend. Now, this looks like we'd be more like in the 70s over the weekend with a chance of rain both days. But obviously, confidence in a solution is not all that high right now because the consistency is not good. We'll go to Monday, and things begin to improve as that feature moves on to the east. That looks dry, and a week from today looks great. Uh, and, of course, with this look, there would be no chance of any upper 30s in the colder valleys. We had mentioned that, but 
Uh, again, I've seen other runs that don't look this way, but whatever. Tuesday should be just a gorgeous day. We'll check the end of the forecast on May 2nd. Pretty good looking trough over the eastern half of the nation with a cold front coming in here, if that happens to be correct. That's it for the weather extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News via the live stream or uh, TV at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock later today. Uh, th and, uh, one more note, we have a special event at uh, Fair Park in Birmingham. We're giving away 400 weather radios at that. Uh, and that's really designed for the uh, city of Birmingham. Uh, so if you live in the city of Birmingham, come out and see us. We'll kick that off at 645. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.